Hey folks, welcome back to the Parallax in PowerPoint Masterclass series. Today in part 2 of the series, we'll be covering the wipe parallax animation. We'll start with a vertical wipe animation. And then use the same techniques to create the horizontal wipe animation. So let's get going. Let's start this tutorial with the vertical wipe parallax. Start with a brand new slide and enable our guides. Drag one to the top and the other to the left. Then let's go ahead and add two more guides. For the bottom and for the right side. Now let's add in some content like we would for any regular presentation. So I'll insert an image and I'll crop it to a 16 by 9 aspect. And I'll quickly add some text to this as well. And that's our first slide ready. Now let's go ahead and prepare two more slides. Now for the next slide, we need to make sure that there's a little bit of it sticking out vertically. Let's drag this image across. Make sure the edges fit. And there's about a centimeter or so visually here that's sticking out from our workspace. And let's add another slide and another image. And for this as well, let's make sure there's a little bit sticking out from the bottom. And that the edges match. And I'll quickly add some content to both these slides. So now we have three slides prepared. Let's see what we can do to create the white parallax in all three of these. So let's begin with slide number one. Let's select all our information from slide two, copy it and paste it over slide number one. Let's drag the text down below the visual part of the slide even below where the image is. And then crop this image so that the only visible part of this image left is what's not in the workspace area. So we can't see the image that we've cropped. Let's make sure all of this is in the front. Now let's select the content from slide one and copy it over to slide number two. Let's drag a text right up above the workspace area. Select the text and the image and send it to back. Let's add the morph transition to this and let's see what that did. So as you can see, it travels beautifully from one slide to another. Let's try that once again. Let's select the image and the text from slide 3 and bring it over to slide number 2. Let's drag our text 
right down under the image and then crop this image so that only the bottom part is visible. Let's check it. So it's not visible in our workspace. Let's select this and make sure it's in the front. Then let's select the image and the text from slide 2. Bring it over to slide 3. Let's drag the Canada text up. And let's send the image and the text to the back. And finally, let's add the morph transition. Let's take a look from the beginning. That looks pretty awesome. So in less than five minutes, we've learned how to create this really cool wipe transition. And now let's see how we can do the same thing horizontally. The horizontal wipe animation is as easy to do as the vertical one was, except for a small difference, which I'll just show you. Let's go ahead and prepare three slides. So I'll add the first image and crop it to fill the slide. And I'll go ahead and add some text. Just copy some text over from the previous slides and change the content. Then prepare the other two slides as well. Now in this case, we need to make sure that our content sticks out horizontally to the right side of the slide rather than what we did vertically, which was at the bottom of the slide. So let's increase this image, drag it, so that a little bit sticks out to the right. Let's align the image and we can crop the bottom and top halves. And then we can just add our content. And one more. Once again, let's enlarge this image so that a little bit sticks out to the right. And let's make sure the rest of the image fits our guides and crop the extra parts off. And our final touch is to add some text and make the image a little darker. I'm not sure if I got the spelling there correct, but that's besides the point. Oh, and I just checked. I did get the spelling wrong. I missed an S. Let's add that here. And now let's prepare our wipe parallax. So let's go to slide number two. Select everything that we want to move and paste it over to slide number one. Let's drag the text to the right beyond the image and then crop the image so only this extra part is visible. Let's make sure by right clicking that this is in the front. Then let's select our content from slide 1 and copy it over to slide 2. This time dragging the text to the left, and selecting the text and the image and sending it to back. Then for slide 3, let's select the image and the text, copy it over to slide 2 and let's crop it again. Only the right side is visible and we drag our text also over to the right. Then we select the watch image and the watch text, bring it down to slide 3, drag the text over to the left, select both and send them to back. 
Let's go ahead and add the morph transition to the second and third slide. And let's see if that works. Nice. And there you have it folks. It's really easy to create this white parallax effect in PowerPoint and it doesn't take too much time at all. Let's take one final look at what we created today. Stay tuned for part 3 where we learn to make the cascade parallax effect. If you find this content helpful, hit the like and subscribe buttons to help out the channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.